So guys, what's going on? Um, it looks like Sky have uh, passed out on the Khan Crawford fight. Uh, very disappointing. Um, I wanted, I wanted Amir Khan to fight on Sky. Um, Eddie Earn confirming that today in IFL. I think, I think they I think they a couple of days ago he had said that you know Khan Crawford was not going to be um, on Sky Sports. Uh, they didn't think it was a standalone pay per view. Uh, he said it was four in the morning and the pay-per-view numbers wouldn't have done great. Obviously, they've got Joshua at four o'clock in the morning, but obviously they've invested a lot of money in Joshua and, and you know, he's Sky's main asset. So he's always going to be on pay-per-view. Um, it doesn't matter what time it is, but just a little disappointed because I feel like... I feel like Sky and, and Matchroom, although they signed Amir Khan, I think it was really for the Kel Brook fight. And I think by them passing on this great big fight, just shows that they didn't have, they didn't show a lot of ambition in signing in in getting this fight. Uh, they said it wasn't a standalone pay per view, um, and you know it needed to be paired up with with another another show. But you know Eddie Anne said they just couldn't work out the logistics. They couldn't work out the numbers. And Khan and maybe Aram and Crawford wanted it to be a standalone pay per view, and BT were willing to take it as a standalone pay per view. Um, you know, it's disappointing when Eddie Earns signing Amir Khan, he must have paid him a lot of money, he's with Matchroom, and it's not going to be on Sky Sports, you know, Sky's have passed on it, uh, it's not just Eddie Earn, it's not Eddie Earn, I don't think it's Eddie Earn's decision, obviously Eddie Earn has a, a, definitely has a say, but it's not his decision, I'm pretty sure it's the bosses at Sky that make that decision, Adam Smith and Barney Francis and those guys, um, I think they... I, th I think they made probably made the decision where they didn't think that it was worthy to have that as a standalone pay-per-view. I'm pretty sure Sky can only do a certain amount of pay-per-views in a year and they probably don't think Khan Crawford is worthy of a pay-per-view. Um, it's definitely not going to be, you know, Khan and Crawford, the names that they are, especially Khan in the UK, he's not going to want that, you know, not to be on pay-per-view when he when he feels that it can be on pay-per-view and, and they can earn a lot of money because I think I think there'll be people that buy that I think there'll be quite a few people that buy that I think Amir Khan's got quite a few fans um, and even if 100,000 people buy that right and it's 20 quid it's 2 million quid that they've made so you know, it's a lot of money, so you can understand why they want it on pay per view. Um, I, I would have preferred to see it on Sky. I, I listen. The way I look at it is, if I feel like Sky should work something out, if they feel a fight is not going to be watched, right? They should lower the price. You know, they should consider that rather than having a set standard price for every pay per view, because you got to understand not every pay per view and not every fight is as big as as some fights. So Khan Crawford, if they thought that that wouldn't sell well, they could have made that maybe 12, 13 quid. But then again, it depends on the fighters because they wouldn't like that. Because think think about it. Obviously, they the more obviously if the price is at 20 quid and that's the standard rate, which even BT will probably have it at 20 quid, the fighters make a lot more money. Um, so I understand why the fighters would worry, want the price high. But at the end of the day, it works out to be the same. If, if you have the price low, more people are probably going to buy it. For that kind of money, whereas if you have the price high, then people are probably not gonna be willing to buy it. But I think with, I'm not sure it's actually gonna make that much of a difference. I think ten quid here and there, will it really make a much of a difference? Like a hardcore box, it's gonna be the hardcores that buy that because you know the casuals don't really get up four in the morning. If that Khan Crawford was in the UK, then they would have been able to do it on pay per view, but then they wouldn't have been able to generate any revenue from the US. Um, that's the issue. So. Yeah, disappointing that Khan Crawford's not on pay-per-view on Sky, but, you know, it didn't make business sense for Sky. I would have preferred to see it on Sky. I, like, I think Sky is probably the best at hosting fights. I think their coverage is probably the best as well. I, I like it. I like watching it on Sky. But, unfortunately, Khan Crawford is probably going to end on BT. I don't mind watching it on BT. BT is decent as well. But, you know, I would have preferred it on Sky. I'm pretty sure Amir Khan would have preferred it on Sky, but they just couldn't work things out. Guys, leave your thoughts in the comment section below and guys remember to please like share and subscribe to my channel i'll see you guys in the next video